Today on Ballistic Barbecue, I'm going to be doing an absolutely beautiful standing rib roast live fire on the Centera Pro Series Argentine Grill using a rotisserie. Let's get going. And here is that standing rib roast. This is absolutely beautiful. Just take a look at the marbling in this thing. It's three bones. And the rule of thumb is when you're picking out a prime rib roast, one bone per two servings. Um, a lot of times when we're entertaining, I'll just play it safe and buy a roast with one extra bone, but this will easily serve six people in three bones. We're gonna kick this off with something that I did on another rib roast video, and that's basting it with um, buttermilk as my binder. I absolutely loved it, and I'm gonna repeat it. The other thing that I'll be doing a little differently than my last prime rib roast or any other rib roast I've done is as once the uh, rub, the seasoning sets, I will be basting it periodically with more buttermilk. I don't know if I mentioned it, but this is 9.6 pounds. It's, it's a nice size roast. There's a lot of meat on here. I was going back and forth on what seasoning to use and I landed on this. I've really fallen in love with the rubs that my buddy Darren over at Fire and Water Cooking is putting out. And I'm gonna start out with a little, this is a black garlic and herb compound butter rub. Just a little dusting of this and then we're gonna finish it off with his uh, black garlic and coffee rub. I love a little coffee flavor with beef. It just really sets it off. So let me start with the bottom here. Just look at that. I mean, just a lot of herbs going on. Right now for the other rub here. All right, looks good. I'm going to get this big old piece of meat on the rotisserie spit, and I will meet you at the pit. <laughs> and here we are, rotating as it should on a rotisserie. Sun's gonna be wreaking a little havoc on me today. It's this time of year, just kind of takes a different angle and the sun comes in a little lower, a little hotter. Anyway, started out this cook with some lump charcoal, some lump hardwood. Um, in the Bracero, I have kind of a, a mixture of wood because it's just what I had on hand. I have some white oak back there and some tan oak. And I'm just basically going to use the Bracero to produce, you know, keep that bed of coals live for me. Um, this runs itself at this point. I just, you know, if I see that it's getting too hot beneath the roast, I'll use the uh, charcoal rake to push some of the embers away. Other than that, I'm going for an uh, internal temp of somewhere between 125 degrees Fahrenheit and 127. I'll let a little carryover bring it up. I'm looking for a nice medium rare. And as I said, as this um, starts to kind of set up the rub, I'll baste it with some more buttermilk. It's gonna be good. So it's been about an hour and 50 minutes now. As you can see, it's looking awesome. You can see the ribs are starting to pull back. And this was pre-cut at the butcher. If I had my druthers, I would have just left them uncut, but they didn't have any that were uncut. So beggars can't be choosers, I guess, right? So I'm just gonna apply a little of this buttermilk here. And here we are about three hours later and it is done. So we're at 125 right now. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this off, let it rest a while, then we'll give you a slice, see how we did. And here we are, beautiful, beautiful looking roast. We haven't looked inside yet, but boy, this thing smells absolutely amazing. And while it was resting in the house, my whole house smells like this prime rib now, which is a good thing. So first things first, I'm gonna cut this trussing off to remove the bones. Like I said, I, I like doing that or having that done. A lot of the butchers just do it. But when I'm doing rotisserie, I, I would have rather, you know, just left it alone. First thing I always cut off when I'm 
you know, slicing up the, the uh, rib roast as I sliced that rack of ribs off first anyway, so. But. All right, first things first. Save that for later. Nice. That's what I'm talking about. It's tender. This is a good piece of meat, I'll tell you that. Beautiful. The juices. All right, I'm not going to cut carb this up anymore. Let's give this a try. <laughs> it's juicy, and I'm very, very happy with the doneness. I mean, that's a nice medium rare. I'm really, really a big fan of that buttermilk. It, um, it just adds like a richness and a little bit of a kind of a tangy flavor that you don't get without it. I mean, I know, notice a difference. Mm. Very good. I have nothing negative to say. Like the, like the rub, the, the meat, the quality of the meat is just really good. It wasn't cheap, you know, and the unfortunate thing is my butcher, they only had the USDA Prime and choice is fine for a cook like this. I mean, it, it's so slow, it, it would have it turned out great. I mean, a lot of the choices are, I think, as good as Prime, but it is what it is. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really appreciate it. Um, if you're not subscribed, consider subscribing and hit that notification bell, thumb it up if you like it. Comment if there's any suggestions or you know you want to start a discussion. You think I did something wrong or you, I could have done something better. Leave a comment for me. I, I read the comments. I, I don't always respond to all of the comments, but I'm reading them. Anyway, thanks again. I'll see you in the next video. <laughs> Cheers.